Hello everyone, this is me Arjit with a new video and in this video we are going to talk about another drone component which is brushless motors. Uh, these motors are also called BLDC motors. Now at first we will talk about how one of these motors works because I think whenever you are working with a component you should know how that component actually works. And then we will talk about while you are buying one of these motors for your drone which are the like criteria you should see like based on your requirement uh, which kind of motor you should buy. So I have noted down all the points we need to discuss in this video. So let's get started. Okay guys, so the first thing is why uh, it is called BLDC motors. Now BLDC stands for brushless direct current motors. Now these brushless motors are like uh, compared to a brush motor, they last for a long time and like in brushless motor you will see there is no spark and things like that. So that's why in drone we use brushless motors and the second thing is uh, direct current. So basically it works on DC, that's why it's direct current. So this is why it's called brushless motor like BLDC motors or also we call it brushless motors. Now they are also drawn with brush motors uh, but we are not going to talk about brush motors in this video, we are only going to talk about brushless motors. Now the first thing is how a brushless motor works. Now here as you can see I here have two motors. Now this is the motor I used with my first drone and then this is the one we are going to use in this uh, series. Okay. And now we will talk about the differences between these two motors but the first thing is how one of these motors actually work. So if you see the motor the first thing is you will see is there are three wires. So if you just see a normal DC motor in normal DC motor you will see there will be only uh, two wire. So if you just give one wire positive and one wire negative the motor will start rotating and then if you just reverse the connection it will like rotate in the reverse order okay that's simple. But here we have three wires and like uh, so basically you may ask where we have to give the like so basically which one we have to connect with like uh, which uh, which thing so something like that. So the thing is that here these three wires are basically three phases of these motors okay. Now if you see in this motor there are two main parts one is called the stator and one is called the rotor. Now stator is basically the electromagnet that is rotor is basically a permanent magnet okay. Now based on the position of the rotor and stator there are basically two kind of brushless motor one is called in runner and other is called out runner. Now you may ask how we can know which is in runner or out runner. Now you, if you see this motor very closely you will see that the outer shell of this motor is basically rotating. Okay. Now in a uh, so in a brushless motor the rotor part actually rotates. So here the outside shell is rotating that means the rotor is in the outside part. Okay. So that's why it's an out runner motor. Okay. And there are few VLDC motors where you will see only the center part will rotate. Okay. And the outside part this part will not rotate. So in those motors, the rotor, rotor is actually in the inside and that's uh, that kind of motors are called in runner motors. Okay. Now it's an out runner motor and in drones we use out runner motor. We mainly use in runner motors in things like helicopter and things like that. Uh, so you will see uh, whenever we, we will buy any uh, brushless motor for our drone, it will be always this out runner motor. Okay. Now this is about the motor. Now how this motor actually rotates and how we can give the uh, like how we can give the power through these three wires. Now it is like this, so to rotate this motor uh, 360 degree once, you have to uh, apply the voltage in these three wires in different intervals. That means at first let's say you give positive here, negative here, after and this motor will rotate little bit. Then after an interval you just give this one positive and this one negative. Then again it will rotate little bit. In this way you are going to activate these three wires in different intervals okay and depending on the number of poles you have inside this motor you have to for a single 360 rotation you have to use a different amount of uh, different number of intervals based on the number of poles okay so this is how it basically works now you may ask like who is going to give the power like like how we know when to give which where like when to active which where and when not so this is not our work there is something called electronic speed controller ESC which basically does this thing and we will talk about that thing in our next video so for this video let's say they are uh, so there is something which is going to give the power and then our motor will rotate uh, based on that okay so this is about the how actually this motor works now the second thing is when you are buying this motor what are the things you should uh, consider okay so the first thing here we have to consider is the 
trust weight ratio now what trust weight ratio basically is like when you are building a drone it will have a certain amount of weight so let's say the weight of your drone is 1 kg okay in that case your the total thrust are uh, generated by generated by your motor should be at least double of the weight so if your uh, drone is like the weight of the drone is 1 kg the thrust generated by the motor should be 2 kg now you divide that if you're building a quadcopter you divide that 2 kg by four motors so per motor it's five uh, 500 grams so in that case you have to buy motors which have at least thrust which generate thrust at least 500 grams okay so if your motor generate thrust less than 5 volt uh, 500 grams in that case uh, your drone will not like it will be not stable or you will be not able to fly it okay now it is at least now for fpv drones the ratio is much higher so uh, in fpv drones the ratio should be 4 is to 1 or 5 is to 1 or even if you are planning to attach some heavyweight things maybe a heavyweight camera or something like that in that case also you should at least maintain a 3 to 1 ratio in that case your drone will be stable okay now how to know like uh, so when you are building a drone first time how to know that uh, if this is actually uh, like how how do you can maintain this uh, trust ratio weight trust ratio so it's simple whenever you are buying some components you just sum them up the weight of them and then you divide it by four or maybe six if you are building a quadcopter then four if you are building hexacopter six and then you will get the weights per motor and then you just see uh, the motor you are buying if that has that amount that can generate that amount of trust if that can then you can buy that if that cannot you have to uh, see some other uh, motors okay now uh, in our in our like in this series i will show you how you can choose one of the motors for your drone and like actually whenever you are building your first drone uh, there is no need to do something like this because you will buy some standard parts and those parts are already like uh, you don't need to calculate that if you're building a simple your first drone but whenever you will build some advanced drones some custom drones you need to maintain this this is the first thing you need to maintain now the second thing here is uh, the kv rating of the motor now what is the kv rating of the motor and uh, actually uh, if you just see a uh, uh, motor like this you will see there are some numbers written here i don't know if you can see it so if you see it's written 2212920 kv here now what this 2212920 kv means now 2212 now the first two numbers 22 it basically represents the width of the rotor or the the whole motor actually so the width of the rotor or the whole motor now you may you may say like uh, whites or like if there is no standards now uh, to be honest there are no standards here so uh, depending on a manufacturer uh, either 2 to like 22 like refers to the uh, width of the rotor or it's the width of the whole motor okay and then after that 12 so 2 to 1 2 now the next two numbers represents the height of the motor okay or the rotor or the motor again okay so again there is no standards and then now this 920 kv this is very important and this is what we are talking about the kv rating now how the kv rating actually what the kv rating means now let's say your motor have a 1000 kv rating that means if you apply one volt to your motor and there is no load then it is going to rotate a uh, thousand times okay so you have a 1000 kv motor if you apply one volt to it and there is no load it's going to rotate thousand times now uh, you know i think you know about rpm so like rotation per minute now how you can find rpm is like you have to multiply the applied voltage to these motors with the kv rating so let's say you are applying 12 volts to this motor and in that case uh, so 12 into 1000 kv which is 12000 so that means your motor will have a rpm of 12000 so 12000 rotation per minute this is how uh, we can uh, find out the rpm from the kv rating now now the simple question is uh, what amount of kv motor you should buy now it depends on the drone you are building so if you are building a standard uh, big frame drone uh, the recommendations are you should buy a like a thousand kv motor now whenever you are uh, just increase the kv rating the speed is increasing but the torque will also decrease so if you are really building a very a uh, heavy drone in that case you cannot use like very fast uh, very high kv rating motors in that case you should use some low kv uh, rating motors so that the torque will be higher and the motors can lift your drone okay so for example in 1000 kv motor the torque will be much higher than a 1400 kv motor and also the speed will be obviously lesser than the 1400 kv motor now this motor here i have this is a 
1400 kb motor and this is a 9 uh, 960 kb motor okay now that means the torque of this motor is higher but the speed of this motor is higher okay this is how the kb rating depends okay now based on your requirement you can buy it now for ftp drones uh, you people also buy 2400 kb motors also but for normal this kind of drones photography drones 1000 kb motors are just fine okay and this is 1000 means 960 kb like depending on a manufacturer it like it depends okay this is about the kb rating now the third thing is motor size now what actually the motor size uh, matters why the motor size matters here this is because the the more weight your motor has the much torque it can generate and the more height your motor will have the much power it can generate okay now this 2 to 1 2 so the, when the 2 2 will increase the torque will increase when the 1 2 will increase the power of the motor will increase okay and that's why you will see there are many motors which are very like they have a very like high amount of width okay and there are motors like this now two two now this is a very standard motor and when you are buying uh, building a first drone you may uh, buy this two two one two motor okay but like there are other options also and uh, i just want to let you know that what this more width motors do like they have they actually offers you a better torque so this is about the uh, motor size okay and then these are the main three factors we need to consider uh, but there are other factors also like efficiency now like efficiency is uh, the ratio of the thrust with the power okay so basically uh, ratio of the thrust means so basically if you have a motor uh, which can generate much power with a lower amount of uh, like which can generate a much thrust with a lower amount of power that's a much better motor whereas if you have a motor which can generate a higher like you can generate a good amount of thrust but it needs also a lot of power that's not that efficient now you need don't need to bother with that when you are buying like for most of the times you don't need to bother with that uh, efficiency of seven or greater than that is always good and the final thing is number of poles now again this is a thing you shouldn't bother with that much but the thing is that the more number of poles your motor will have the motor will be the, like better okay so this is about the factors uh, you need to know about this motor now now the final thing is like what are the differences between these two motors okay now another thing we haven't talked about is the brand of the motor now this motor is a local motor and this is a branded motor and this is by ready to sky now i will always recommend you to buy some branded motors rather than these local motors now these local motors are really cheap like the price of them are like half of these motors but they are not that good no this, this will work this will definitely work i have built a drone with it they like fly and all good but in terms of stability they are not always that good but so you so you should always go with this kind of branded motors okay now finally so if you have to conclude when you are uh, buying some motor uh, at first you just look at the company so you should buy some good brand motor secondly you look at the kv rating so uh, like what kind of drone you are building based on that the kv rating and then you also can consider the size of the motor and you can see you can just if you're building a custom drone which will have a custom weight you can see at the uh thrust generated by the motor also and this is actually a thrust without any kind of load okay so you can look at that also and based on these parameters you can buy your motor now whenever you are building your first drone i really recommend you to you can buy these motors this ready to sky motors are really good and there are other companies also so you can just go to the side different sites and check them you can check the review of those motors uh, like almost all the branded company have good motors so you just need to bother with the specifications the 221 to 960 kv you now these kind of specifications you need to bother about while you are building your while you are buying your uh, motor for your drone now this is about the motors now like i said how uh, now we like we'll buy the motor now who is going to control the motor now for that you need to watch the next video which will be on escs like in that we will talk about how esc will like going to control this drone and like how uh, all things will work so uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe it so that you will get the notification of my new videos and so that's and if you have liked this video in that please hit the like button and that's it about this video guys thank you for watching see you in the next video